So right now, we will derive the formulas of or formulas for rectilinear motion. So we'll begin with the definitions lang muna. So we'll derive through definitions. We'll do it in two ways. Number one is by definitions na lang muna. Then number two, by application of calculus. Okay? Since this is cal a calculus-based class or physics class. So let's start with uh, the, the, the first formula. Let us define acceleration first. So acceleration A. What is acceleration? If you recall. That, what is the, the ratio of? When we say acceleration, yun yung pag-increase of its what? Velocity, right? Pag-increase ng velocity, meaning from a certain velocity, hinay. Then after a while, after some time, ni-increase yung velocity, bumilis ka. Therefore, nag-accelerate ka, di ba? Or kung bisaya pa, nikosog imong dagan. So that's acceleration. That is actually the change in the velocity over time. So, kung magbigin ta or the change in time. So if we begin with time from zero, that would be t minus zero, right? So I'll just write here t. So the change in velocity, that would be the final velocity minus the initial velocity, right? Hence, I'll have the formula, acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. Therefore, solving for final velocity, that would be AT is equal to VF minus VI. Hence, VF is equal to VI. Tama na ba? VI plus AT. So, this is our first rectilinear motion formula. I'll call this formula 1. Ako ha? Sayon rano? So, definition lang. So, second definition kaya. How about um, average velocity kanina? How, on sa tang average velocity? But when, um, how about kung ibahin natin yung approach average velocity? Yung average velocity, gawin natin, so how about, um, paano ba? We'll begin with this again. Um, the, for average velocity, we could describe average velocity as the as the average velocity between two points. For example, if we have two points, one, point one, uh, and it has a velocity of initial velocity, and another point, point two, it has a velocity of the final velocity at this point. So therefore, if we are considering the velocities of the two and getting the average velocity, we'll just add the two velocities and divide it by two. So, from the definition of average. So, iba yung approach natin. So, that would be, sa to? Um, velocity or initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. Then, that is one way of illustrating mathematically the average velocity. Now, by our definition of average velocity, an average velocity is like this. It is the change in distance over the change in time. Okay. So the change in this uh, average velocity is actually change in distance over change in time. But if we uh, uh, start from rest or start from the origin wherein wala pa magsugod ang oras or hindi pa umandar yung oras, so that will, that mean time or the initial time is zero. No? So final time is t minus initial time zero. And if we, again, for, for in terms of displacement, if we consider a point wherein nag-start pa lang ang, ang motion, that means wala pa siyang displacement or zero in initial displacement or kanyang initial displacement. So that would be S minus initial displacement zero. So that is the same as writing this as distance over time. Okay, so therefore, um, we, could, we should rewrite this or we could rewrite this as initial velocity plus final velocity over 2. That's equal to displacement over time. Okay, then solving for displacement, this would be equal to initial velocity plus final velocity over 2 times time. And we know that initial, no, final, uh, let's consider final. We know that final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. So if we substitute that here, that would become S is equal to VI plus VI plus AT over 2 times time. Kanini ay, no? Kanina, nalipat yun ko ato. So, that means S is equal to morag familiar na, no? Over 2 times time. 
familiar ba? So, divide all terms by one half, by 2. So, that means cancel this out. Dito maging 1 half. So, therefore, we'll have S is equal to V I plus 1 half A T times time. So, what is our formula now? That's V I T, familiar, plus 1 half A T squared. This, this is our second equatorial motion equation. Okay? So, I'll name this second equation. Okay? Okay? So, dalawa na. Memorize. First equation is this. Vf is equal to Vi plus At. Memorize na. Vf is final velocity. Vi is initial velocity. A is acceleration. T is time. So, the second formula is in terms of displacement S. <coughs> so, we'll have S is equal to initial velocity times time plus one half of the acceleration times the square of the time. Now, the third equation involves uh, let us try to eliminate time. Parang equation natin will be in terms of distance, velocity, acceleration. Okay? So, if you try to eliminate time, so far we have v, uh, Vf is equal to Vi plus At. And we also have um, S is equal to Vit plus 1 half At squared. So, if you want to eliminate time, I'll just solve this equation in terms of time and substitute it here. So, I'll have T is equal to Vf minus Vi over acceleration. So, I substitute that sa dito. So, I'll have S is equal to Vi times Vf. Vf minus Vi over A. Then, plus... 1 half acceleration times Vf minus Vi over A, then squared. Okay, kaya ba to? This is just a matter of simple, uh, not so simple algebra. Or pwedeng another way, no? Pero sige na lang. Okay. So, padayon. So, we'll have S is equal to Vf minus Vi. Ah, distribute ko na lang. Vf Vi minus Vi squared over A plus 1 half or that would become 1 half A na lang. Dito ko na ilagay muna ha. Then I'll square this. That would be Vf squared minus 2 Vf Vi plus Vi squared over A squared. So... Of course, ma-cancel out yung isang A. Okay. So, what's the LCD? <clears throat> I mean, common. We have 2A. This divided by A is 2, right? So, we have 2 Vf Vi minus 2 Vi squared. Then, plus, of course, 2A man dito. This divided by this is wala. So, I'll just copy this. So, plus vf squared minus 2 vf vi plus vi squared so we'll have s is equal to obviously we could cancel this out and we could combine this and this so we'll have what mm. it is vf squared minus vi squared over 2a so solve in terms of vf we'll have Vf squared is equal to Vi squared plus 2As. This is our this is our third equation. So we have three rectilinear motion equations that you need to memorize. So I'll repeat. We have Vf is equal to Vi plus At. Memorize na? Okay, memorize na. Second is S is equal to Vit plus At squared over 2 or 1 half times 8 times c squared. And the third one was vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2as. Kanira jud na tulo. Yang, uh, yang tatlo na yung kailangan natin in-memorize. So this time we will try to um, derive the same formulas using calculus base. Okay? So para maging calculus base, we will use the definition of instantaneous Velocity. Okay. 
So when we say instantaneous velocity, that is actually d ata. Ito. Instantaneous velocity is this. So if this um, generalize natin, this is displacement. That means derivative of the displacement. Sorry, ulitin natin na. That's the derivative of the displacement with respect to time. Okay? So therefore, velocity is equal to ds over dt. But we know that v is not, um, v is variable man, di ba? Nagbabari siya. Especially if the the velocity or the motion is not uniform. But, meron tayong, if, if we consider, um, ang, if we consider muna natin sa discussion are for constant acceleration, we consider the acceleration as constant, we could first define what is acceleration. And we know that acceleration in terms of its instantaneous velocities as the change, that's the change in the velocity with respect to time. So, since instantaneous yung mga tinitingnan natin, then we'll get, uh, this is just defined as a derivative of the velocity with respect to time. Okay? So, therefore, dv is equal to a dt wherein a is a constant. Okay? So, that's a define, ha? For constant acceleration. Okay. Now, let us take the, the integral both sides. Integrate natin to. Integrate natin to. So, we'll have V is equal to what will happen here. Remember that we are taking A acceleration as constant. So, we'll have what? Integral, oh, sorry, A integral of dt. Sorry, dt. So, what's the integral of dt? t plus plus c. Or let's call na lang muna C1. Okay? Plus C1. Okay. Okay, now. We know that velocity is the change in distance over the change in time. So that means this is AT plus C1. So therefore, DS is equal to AT DT plus C1 T. Then if we integrate both sides again, we'll have <coughs> integrating both sides. S is equal to, what's the integral of A? Constant man yung A. So what's the integral of T? DT. T squared over 2. Okay. Plus, how about the integral of, ah sorry, wrong pala to, I'm sorry. C1 dt hindi ay niya. C1 dt. How about the integral of C1 dt? That is just C1 t. Then plus C2. So therefore, we'll have S is equal to A t squared over 2 plus C1 t plus C2. Now, we have two formulas which are quite familiar. We have V is equal to A t plus C1 and S is equal to A t squared over 2 plus C1t plus C2. Now, if we apply initial value problem, when we say initial values, those are the values at the beginning or at the, at the initial point, at the origin. Okay? So, initial value, gamit tayo ng common sense. What happens at the initial point? So, pag we sinabi natin initial point, of course, wala pang time. So, time is zero. Hindi pa nag yung time kasi initial pa. Uh, mangyayari pa lang yung dapat mangyayari or yung motion, mangyayari pa lang. Okay? So, when time is zero, we could also expect that the initial point, wala pang displacement na nangyari, right? It could have a velocity because pwede kang maglagay ng initial velocity, right? Pero, yung displacement, if yun yung origin natin, we could take the displacement as zero. Okay? In terms of velocity, in terms of velocity, nasabi ko kanina pa lang, velocity is the initial velocity. The velocity that you apply initially. So, I could write this as vi. Okay? So, therefore, we could substitute this to any of the, uh, to the two equations. Diba? Okay. When t is 0, that means s. s is also 0. So, that means this is 0. t is 0. t is 0. So, therefore, c2 is just 
0. C2 is 0. So we don't have C2. So therefore, going back to this formula, V, so what, what was that? V is equal to AT plus C1, what will happen? Our V is the initial velocity. V is the initial velocity. That is equal to AT. Uh, ano yung T natin? 0. T is 0 plus C1. So therefore, ano yung C1? Therefore, C1 is v, VI. So therefore, this becomes V is equal to VI plus AT. So yung V natin, this describes all velocity at any point, right? V or pwede natin ilagay na final velocity. If we are looking at the velocity at the final point. Nako ha? So that's familiar, oh. Ganun pa rin siya dito. Asa na yun? This one. So that is it pa rin. Okay. So therefore, we'll, ha we'll have this. And remember that we also derived this. And we know that C2 is 0. And this is VI. C1 is VI. Hence... From this, we can say that distance is equal to VIT plus AT squared over 2. Okay? So, the same yung gawin natin if we combine these two to create a formula na walang time. Then, we'll arrive at velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2AS. So, this is our formulas. So, again, we only have three formulas. V is the velocity at any point. It could be final velocity. So, it's, it's okay if you put Vf there. Anyway, pag mag-solve na tayo later, uh, we will not classify that as Vi, Vt. We will just classify that as velocity at a certain point, initial point, and the velocity at another point. Other from the initial point. Okay? So, kanay lang, ito lang tatlo. So, all our, for, um, all our solutions and all our problems will be solved using these three equations. But remember that ang consideration natin dito, the constant acceleration. Okay? Uh, that's another set of problems or another set of solution kung dili constant ang acceleration. Okay? Mga free fall, that's a constant acceleration because the acceleration due to gravity does not change man. It is always 9.81 meter per second squared or 32.2 feet per second squared.